So today I'm talking about a P0332 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0332 code? Well, it's an aux sensor to circuit low input, bank two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called NOx sensor or sensors that are bolted to the engine. And they basically just listen for like vibrations or any kind of pingy noise or things like this. And they report this information back to the computer, which then will adjust the timing of the engine until the pinging or the vibration goes away. But when you get this P0332 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with one of these, mainly that NOx sensor too. And so it's gonna to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's gonna have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. So if you Google your engine and cylinder locations or firing order or something like that, and you find the number one cylinder, since there is differences, that's gonna be the bank one side. And the opposite of that is gonna be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is gonna be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it won't matter. You only have one bank. And so what are some possible causes of a P0332 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that knock sensor has just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. If you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get a diagram to know where all these sensors are located and what's going on. Since there will be differences, but the first thing to do is to locate that knock sensor too on your particular engine and go and test that knock sensor. One thing to note about these knock sensors is that quite often they're located in very hard to get to spots. Like they'll be located up underneath an intake manifold or on the side of the engine up behind a starter or just basically really hard to get to. And so for this reason, a lot of people, they'll just buy a new sensor and they'll relocate it up on top of the engine somewhere. And then they'll locate the wires going to the knock sensor and they'll just connect it. I don't recommend doing this. I would recommend doing it the right way, taking apart the engine or whatever you have to do to get to that knock sensor. But a lot of people do this and basically they'll just take a new knock sensor. They'll bolt it right onto the engine somewhere. It needs to be attached to the engine very well. And they'll just connect the wires going back to the computer. But the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad knock sensor. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. If there's anything wrong inside the wiring, like an open, a short, a bad connection, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So you can get a multimeter and a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle, since there will be differences, and do some tests to be sure that there's no opens or shorts or anything like this. Another way some people use to troubleshoot this is that they will go get a new sensor. They will relocate it up on top of the engine. They'll connect the wires, but they'll clear the code. And if the code doesn't come back, then they know it was a bad knock sensor. But if the code does come back, then they know it's inside the wiring. So there is some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there is some kind of engine problem going on, like the timing's off or something like that. So those knock sensors are working the way they're supposed to be working. They're picking up this problem that's inside the engine and the computer's adjusting the timing to try to offset it. So if that happens, there might not be no problem with the knock sensor, but it is triggering this P0332 code. Usually if there is some kind of engine malfunction or some kind of other issue going on, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of engine malfunction. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how to go about fixing a vehicle with the P0332 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.